Hello guys, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that for the structure and loading of problem 246, determine the value of alpha for which the tension in cable BC is a small as possible and the corresponding value of the tension. So we are given this structure and loading and this structure is in equilibrium at point C and we are required to find the magnitude of the tension in BC rope and that magnitude needs to be minimum. So if we draw the free body diagram at point C we will have the force applied by this AC arm on that joint C we will have AC here and we will have the tension in BC and we have this 300 pound force which is making 20 degree. And here we know that this FAC is must be making 30 degree uh, with the vertical. So we do not know the magnitude of FAC. So if the magnitude of FAC is not known, the length of this arrow is not known. And similarly, the magnitude of TBC is not known. So the length of this TBC is not known. And in the problem statement, we are required to have minimum tension in BC rope. So we, we want to have the minimum length of this BC rope. And furthermore, we know that since this point C is in equilibrium, the sum of these three forces by head to tail rule must make a close triangle since the resultant is equal to zero. So now from all this uh, diagram, we know that the force is acting al the the force applied by this rod uh, must be acting along this ac line and that line along which this force must be acting must be making 30 degree so here i have drawn this green dashed line which represents the direction of this fac and this green line is making 30 degree with the vertical so let me represent that angle as well so this is this angle is 30 degree so if this is 30 degree then this is 30 degree angle as well so let's say that this is 30 degree angle as well now we know that um, the force fac must be acting along this line but since the magnitude is not known, we do not know the exact length of this FAC. And further, we also know that the, the 300 pound force, this 300 pound force, and then this TBC force and this FAC force, by head to tail rule, they must make a closed triangle. So we know that if, if this is FAC, then TBC must be acting from the head of this 300 pound force to the tail of this FAC. So let me represent that um, tension in BC row. Let's say that this is the tension in BC row, the blue one. Now, since we want to minimize the, the, the length of this TBC arrow, since the length tells us the magnitude of the tension in BC row, we want to have the minimum length of this blue arrow. And the, the length of this FAC depends on the length of this TBC. So what I will do is that I will, I will remove this red arrow since we do not know the exact length of this FAC. But we know that the head of this blue arrow which represents the tension BC rope must lie, must intersect with this green line since we know that that TBC the FAC vector must be acting along this particular line. Now, if we look into the head of this blue line, if I move it in this direction along this green line, its length is increasing, increasing, and if I move it in the upward direction, its length is decreasing, decreasing until a point after which the length starts increasing again. So somewhere here the length of this blue arrow is, is decreasing and after this particular point the length is increasing so if we observe this so at this particular point the length of this tbc is minimum and and when this tbc is minimum this must be at 90 degree 
to the line of action of that FAC. So this means that if we want to have the tension in BC rope to be minimum, this must be perpendicular with the line of action of that FAC along which that FAC is acting. So the condition for TBC to be minimum, it must be making 90 degree here. So now let's show that that this is the condition for which that TBC must be minimum. TBC is to be minimum then that this particular angle must be 90 degree. Now once we know this, we know that by head to tail rule, we, the tail of FAC must start from the head of that TBC and the and its head must end on the tail of the 300 pound force. So again, I'm going to repeat that this TBC will have minimum value when it is perpendicular with that FAC vector. So this is FAC. And we know that uh, this is 30 degree and this is 20 degree. So this whole angle is how much this is now 50. So we can write that this is this is 50 degrees and similarly this TBC is making this TBC is making angle alpha with the with the vertical so now if I draw a vertical line here so this angle must be alpha so this is so this angle is alpha we are required to find alpha so if TBC is minimum, what should be that angle alpha? So now if this angle is 50, if this angle is 50, if this is 90, and let's say this angle is theta, then we know that theta plus 90 degree plus that 50 degree, the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree. So we can say that theta is equal to 180 degree minus 90 minus 50. So 180 minus 90 minus 50, this gives us 40 degree angle. So this means that theta angle is 40. So we can say that this angle is 40 degrees. So let me write that this is, this is 40 degrees. And now if I draw a vertical line here, so this angle and this angle, both of these angles are equal since both of these angles are alternate angles. So we can say that this angle is, if I draw a vertical line here, so this angle is also angle alpha. And we also know that if this angle is 20 degree and if this is vertical line, then this angle is 20 degree as well. So we can say that this angle Is 20 degree now we want to find angle alpha so from from this angle we can say that alpha is 40 plus 20 degrees so alpha is 40 plus 20 degrees so alpha is 60 degrees now in order to have the magnitude of the tension in BC rope to be minimum it must be making 90 degree angle and it must be making 60 degree angle with the vertical so now this is the answer for alpha. This is the answer for part A. Now we are required to find the magnitude of that minimum tension in BC rope. So we can we can apply the sine's law as well. So we can say that TBC divided by sine of the opposite angle. So this is TBC and the sine of the opposite angle is uh, 50. So sine of 50. And... And then 300, this 300 pound, this, the length of this arrow divided by the sine of 90 degrees. The opposite angle is 90. So sine of 90 degrees. So we can say that TBC is sine of 90 is 1. And if we cross multiply both sides of the equation by sine of 50, we will have 300 sine of 50 divided by 1. So now we can say that uh, this TBC, the magnitude of this TBC must be equal to the 
the sine component of this 300 pound force this 300 pound force will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction so this component is the cos component and this component is the sine component so the so the magnitude of tbc will be equal to the sine component of this 300 pound force which we got from sine's law as well so tbc is equal to 300 sine of 50 degrees so this is approximately equal to 230 pounds so the magnitude of that minimum tension is equal to 230 pounds and it must be making 60 degree angle with the vertical so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope it will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems